Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a really, really fast video. Um, it's going to be um, comparing all of my mascaras. I have two that aren't drugstore, but the rest are drugstore, so I'll mainly focus on those. Um, before I get started, I just want to um, get your guys' opinion on two things. The first is um, if you think I should do, like I was just messing around with my makeup today, and I've been wanting to do a Valentine's Day makeup tutorial, and like this is what... I just did. It's hard to see, but like on the lid, it's like a peach color, and then like this is hot pink. There's like a darker purple, and then there's like like a really deep plum color, and then a lighter color. Um, you can't see it because like I have a bad habit. Like I pick up my eyelashes, and like for some reason my like eye eyeshadow like comes off because I guess I'm just like constantly picking at it. Uh, random fact, but anyways, if you want to see a tutorial on how to do this, it looked a lot prettier before I started messing with my eyes. Let me know. Um, I just wanted to do it as Valentine's makeup tutorial. I just need to find somewhere to put the red because there's no red in it. Um, so I don't know. We'll have to see about that. And then the second opinion that I wanted to get from you guys is um, I really like to watch Outfits of the Day on YouTube, and I just wanted to know if you guys would like me to start doing Outfits of the Day. Um, I mean, I haven't had any requests or anything for to do, to do it, um, but I just wanted to see. I mean, I don't talk about fashion nearly as much as I talk about makeup on this channel, but I really am just as much into fashion as I am makeup. Um, so, yeah, let me know if you want to do a makeup, or makeup tutorial, if you wanted me to do a, uh, outfit of the day, you know, because those are really fast videos that I can do and I don't have to worry about, oh, well, I'm really tired or this and that. So, all right, we'll go ahead and get started with the mascaras. The two mascaras that I'm going to talk about first, I'm just going to talk about them together because they're basically the same thing. They're the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara. This one's in carbon black and then this is just like clean definition. The brush, like this is my favorite mascara ever. If anybody ever asks me what mascara to use for lengthening at least, this is the one I tell them. I don't tell them any of the mascaras, even if other mascaras I have are really, really good. These are the mascaras that I always, always recommend. Um, I really love L'Oreal products. They are just, I don't know, I feel like they're just so much more quality than drugstore. Um, but yeah, these make your eyelashes so long. Um, you know, my eyelashes aren't stubby and I like to have really long eyelashes and not, I don't like to wear fake eyelashes. So these make your eyelashes so super duper long. I really love them and I use them almost every day. They're almost empty, actually. And then the next I want to talk about is the Lash Stiletto Voluptuous. It's the waterproof one. Um, I really love the packaging. I really, like, I'm truly a sucker for packaging. If something has, like, really nice packaging, I'm like, ooh, let's buy it. But um, I do like this mascara also. It also makes my eyelashes super long. What really just irritates me about this product is whenever I buy mascara, I always buy waterproof, and I never mean to. I hate waterproof mascara. So this is the waterproof stuff, but it does really work, I have to say, like, it does not come off. Like, I usually get a shower and wash my face, and then I take it off with the makeup. Like, this mascara is so hard to get off, which is a good and a bad thing. But this also makes my eyelashes as long, but not as long as a telescopic mascara. And then the next one is this mascara. Like, I've known about forever. Like, this is probably the very first mascara that I've started wearing because my mom always used it. It's the Great Big Lash Mascara. Um, I don't really like this product. I don't know why I continue to purchase it. I think I just love the really, really big, like, wand. But it doesn't really get my lashes, like, you know, just normal mascara. It doesn't make them thick. doesn't make them long or anything. Just mascara, if I don't really feel like paying attention to my lashes that day, I'll use this. But it really is not an amazing um, mascara whatsoever. Um, and then the next one is the Max Volume Flash Mascara from Rimmel London. This is what the brush looks like. Um, I don't use this too much just because, like, it gets clumpy with the mascara. Like, it doesn't, um, whenever you pull your mascara out, I like whenever it, like, pops because it gets all the extra stuff out. This doesn't really do it. So, like, as you can see, it's really just clumped onto the brush. So, it kind of clumps onto your lashes and it's just sticky and, but, I mean, it it's all right that's all I have to say I just I bought it to try it out and I don't want to waste it so I continue to use it but and then the next one I have is the Hypnos Drama Lanco mascara I really really love this mascara it's a little sample size I got it in like one of these things that I bought but um I really love it I wouldn't buy the bigger tube it does make my eyelashes longer and it's like it's kind of hard to explain, but it's like, make sure eyelash is hard, but not like super hard, you know what I mean? Um, but I do love that mascara. And one of my new favorites of mascara that I'm really loving is the Voluminous Million Lashes from 
L'Oreal. I've heard, like, I've heard so many good reviews on that, this mascara, so I was like, I might as well try it out. Um, and I did, and I really love it. Like, first of all, I wonder if you can hear it. It pops. I don't know if you can hear it, but it does. And I don't know why. I just like when it does that. And, like, the bristles, like, they just stick out. Like, and they really get my lashes. And they make my lashes really, really long. The mascara does not clump onto the brush. So this is one of my also favorite mascaras. It doesn't make them super long. It just makes them look like there's more. And then I also, <laughs> I really like all the mascaras I have, but this is one of my favorites. It's the XXL Pro Lash Extensions. My friend Brandy got this for me and like this little package that she made for me on Christmas. I did a haul video about it. If I remember, I'll put like a link. Um, but it has like the two steps, which that's the first time I ever used. Like the white, like the first brush is white. This is to make your lashes longer. And then the second one, is black so I really really love them the only thing I don't like is there's not very much product because all the products in this um, so there's really not very much product on it and the white just kind of clumps on and you really have to make sure because I've seen people that use this like one of my friends use this and sometimes she like doesn't get the black mascara over top the white and then it looks so crappy because like the tips of your lashes will be like white so you that's the only thing you have to be careful about this but it makes my eyelashes really really long and then I got this as a sample for Christmas. It's the MAC Zoom Lash. I've been trying not to use this because it's really, really good mascara. And it's only a tiny little sample size. And I, um, like, I don't really like the brushes. Like, they're stubby. But, um, it is really good mascara. And I only stick to drugstore products mainly, but I'm definitely going to, when I'm run out of this, I'm definitely going to buy the bigger tube of this just because it makes my lashes so long and like thick at the same time though. Um, and again, like I said, I don't care about my eyelashes being thick, but that's really awesome. And then to finish up, this is the CoverGirl Lash Blast. This came out a while ago. Um, I don't really like this brush. Everybody likes it because like it's super thick. Like people get you because you're like, oh, the tube, the tube's thick. So like it's going to make your eyelashes thick. Not really. Um, the reason why this mascara is such a big deal is because this is the first non-wire brush. Um, and it just doesn't do for me, like, everybody's like, oh my god, this is, like, amazing mascara, but for me, it just doesn't work. Maybe for you it does, but not for me. And then the final mascara I have to talk about is the Falsies Volume Express, um, mascara. I am confused because I hear so many wonderful reviews on this product. Like, people are like, oh my god, it really looks like I have false lashes on, blah, blah, blah. But not, like, it really doesn't. I mean, to be honest with you, it doesn't do anything different than other mascaras and I just get confused this is what the brush looks like like I'm just confused like what am I doing wrong because there are girls that are like this mascara is amazing it looks like I have false eyelashes on um maybe it does for them but I'm just not sure what I'm doing different because there's really not that many different ways to apply mascara and for me it just really doesn't it doesn't make my eyelashes that long to look like there's false eyelashes on them so I don't really like this mascara. I like the packaging. It's pretty and purple. But um, this mascara just does, for me, it really doesn't make me look like I have false eyelashes on. Maybe for someone else it does, but I would not recommend buying this because of all the hype. Um, so alright everyone, those are all the mascaras I own. Not too many, um, but enough. So thank you so much for watching and please um, comment below or message me to let me know um, what you think about my outfits of the day and um, this Valentine's Day look, and if you know where, like, somewhere I can put the red here, let me know, because I was thinking about putting it, like, in the cor inner corners, but I don't want my eyes to be, like, red. So, anyways, alright, thank you so much for watching, guys. Have a wonderful day. Bye!